If you're making a train, you're going to need carriages. I have seven different carriage designs here, all based off LNER Gressley designs from the late 1920s and early 1930s. In this video, we're going to make a corridor compartment carriage. If you've seen Harry Potter or Murder on the Orient Express, you know the sort of car I'm talking about. Maybe you've been lucky enough to go to a steam festival and ride in one, or you're old enough to remember them. To make a corridor compartment carriage, you will need the following materials in the following quantities. Pause the screen now if you need to and check them out. The bottom row and these two are for the undercarriage. The top row is for the body of the car and the roof. And the middle row and these four are for the internal fittings. Let's get started. Grab a waste block and place it on your track. And on top of that, place one, two, three brown or gray terracotta blocks. I'm using grey but brown works just as well. Now come to the back and we're going to place 20 terracotta blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, And behind it, 1, 2, 3. Next we're going to make buffers. These are designed by Crafty Fox. I'll put a link in the description to his channel. So we've got two pistons, one either side of this terracotta bar. And next to them we put levers and flip them open. You could alternatively place the levers underneath if you don't like how they look. Come round to the other end and do the same thing. Now we're going to make wheels with nether brick stairs. So come to the end here and leave a gap and on the next block, right way up, upside down nether brick stairs. And on the back, the same thing. You get a little cross shape. Imagine it's a circle, that's our first wheel. Now we're going to leave a one block gap and repeat the same thing. Between the wheel and the buffer place two dark oak fence and between the two wheels place a dark oak slab. Go down to the other end and repeat this setup. Now between the two sets of wheels, we're going to place eight dark oak slabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Grab your hoppers and put one on each of your right way upstairs on your wheels. These complete the bogies. Now repeat all this on the other side. Take dark oak planks and layer them across the whole of these middle three rows. Now take dark oak stairs and line either side of the planks that you've just placed. That's the undercarriage almost done. Now we just need to add couplings. I like to use grindstones, but you could use slabs if you like, or iron bars. Put one grindstone at the front of your carriage and two grindstones at the end. You'll have to shift click to place the second one. That's the undercarriage of our carriage done. Now we're going to build up the ends of the carriages. Pick an end to start with. Doesn't matter which one. They are both the same. So on the edge of this stair, we're going to place a waste block and then a dark oak trap door, a spruce slab, and the materials should have shown two of those, not one, my apologies. Another dark oak trap door, another waste block. Come to the inside of the carriage, place a birch door. Doesn't matter which way you've got it hinged, whichever works best for you. Now fold down the dark oak trap doors. They place up just because of the lever, don't worry about it. Now come to one of your waste blocks, place a spruce trap door. Another one on top of the dark oak trap door. Leave the gap with the door. Spruce trap door, spruce trap door. Now on top of our spruce trap doors, we're going to place one, two dark oak trap doors. Leave the gap with the birch door. Place two more dark oak trap doors and two more. Now leave this one at the end. Place a dark oak trap door, place a waste block on top of the door with a dark oak trap door on top of it and one more dark oak trap door. 
pop down, remove the waste block, and standing on the slab, a birch trap door underneath the top dark oak trap door. Fold all your trap doors up or down. Now you've got this done, remove your waste blocks. That's the end of the carriage. Repeat that at the other end. Next we're going to make the internals of the carriage, then we will do the external walls. Working from the inside of the carriage, come to the front, leave a one block gap, and from the back, that is the non-platform side, one, two, three dark oak trap doors, and on top of those, one, two more. Fold them up, this makes an internal wall. Facing the end wall, place one, two spruce trap doors for a shelf level with the top of the spruce trap doors. Now I'm going to mark out the compartments. I have dark prismarine stairs for this because the first class LNER compartment carriages were fitted with dark green leather seats. So one, two, three turn, leave a gap, and one, two, three. So you've got two sets of seats facing each other. Repeat this four more times. Now to build the internal compartment walls. In what is going to be the first compartment, the seats that face towards the front of the train, we're going to place one, two, three dark oak trap doors with three more on top. Fold them up. Repeat that for each of the other compartments. Now technically the doors to the compartment should be sliding doors but this is Minecraft. Come to the inside of a compartment and on the next block out place a dark oak door so that the hinge is on the front end of the carriage. And the door should be just on the outside of the seats. Do that on each compartment. And now, one, two, three, one on top of your door, one, two, three. Fold the trap doors up and make your compartment wall. That's what we're looking for. Do that on all your other compartments. You should end up with a setup like this. This little space here, let's address that. Because this is a first class car, we have a little toilet. So at the end here, one, two, three, fold the trap doors up just to hide the back of the seats. We're gonna place one, two, three dark oak planks and a dark oak door hinged to fold inwards. Come to the inside and place one, two, three dark oak trap doors, one on top of the door. Fold them up. And then here, two dark oak trap doors and again bring it up to a height of three. Facilities. One smooth quartz stair upside down for a toilet, stone pressure plate for a lid, or you could use an iron pressure plate, it's up to you. Directly opposite, a hopper for a sink, and then shift click to place a tripwire hook for a tap. At the end here, place two spruce trap doors as we did before for a little shelf. That is the internals of our compartment corridor carriage done, apart from lighting. We're going to work on the platform side of the carriage first. So come to the front end, leave a one block gap and place a birch door so that the hinges are towards the front. The hinges of all these birch doors will be towards the front end of the carriage. Now leave a gap of four, one, two, three, four, place another birch door. Leave a gap of five, one, two, three, four, five, birch door. Gap of five, one, two, three, four, five, birch door. And that should leave three blocks 
between this last door and the end of the carriage, one, two, three. Now place waste blocks all the way along everywhere that there isn't a door. And on top of those waste blocks facing from the outside in, spruce trap doors. Remove your waste blocks. Working from the front end of the train, place two dark oak trap doors either side of each birch door. When you get down to the back end of the train, leave a gap of one and place two dark oak trap doors so they're up against this end of the train. Now fill in the rest of the gaps with birch trap doors. Place a waste block on top of your birch doors and at the top of that waste block at the front, place a birch trap door so it folds down with the handle directly above the door. Now fold up all your trap doors to make walls and windows. That's the passenger side done. We're going around the other side now. Place waste blocks right the way the length of the carriage. And place spruce trap doors along all of them. Get rid of the waste blocks. At the back end of the carriage, on this first spruce trap door, we're going to place one, two dark oak trap doors, leave a gap of one, and place one, two, leave a gap of one, and place one, two. Come to the front end of the carriage, and on this first spruce trap door, one, two. And now fill in all the gaps with birch trap doors. Fold them all up to make walls and windows again. That's the non-platform side of the carriage. Roof next. Using smooth sandstone slabs, we're going to place one, two, three against these topmost trap doors at the end. And we're going to extend those slabs all the way to the other end. And now this strip and this strip are going to be covered with right way up smooth sandstone stairs. Now with a waste block, place it on top of one of the stairs, place a slab next to it and cover these three in the middle with a bottom half slab. This spawn proofs the roof. You could of course use a smooth sandstone block for this stage instead of the slabs, but the slabs go further and are therefore just that bit more economical. That's the roof. All that's left is lighting. I like to put one in each corner at the ends. One just to the right of each of the doors. And one in each compartment. Now because trapdoors let light through, you actually don't need one in the little toilet if you don't want one. And that's it. One corridor compartment carriage, first class. There's links on the screen now to other train and rolling stock tutorials.